Hey studs, what's going on? Ew! <laughs> Ew! <laughs> going for another fish today. Just didn't like that. Yeah, I wouldn't like it either. User and abuser. So, as I was saying, some big brim. That's what we're gonna go after. Maybe get some flatties. Who knows what the day's gonna bring. Um, so yeah, that's the plan. Uh, we'll see you out on the water. Whack that tiny little stumpy on and reef him back. He'd get grilled. Actually, they know what it The Z-Man ones are pretty good. They don't get... Got him. Flatty. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, good. First flatty of the day. Gonna need new plastic and just spat out your tail. Whoa, whoa. Whoa. See, dude. Might be a few little fish here, Davo. We might uh, get on a little tasty little fish. Makes you appreciate how good like spot lock would be on a lecky and that. <laughs> oh, they're getting smashed up there. Yep, got him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> Another little tailor. These tailor are just smashing these bait fish around this. This little island here. Oh, you can see fish rolling over. See the silver flash from. What? Oh, slightly bigger. Must be some little brim, just oh. little round flashes. Oh, yep. Or Taylor. Oh, how about the jump on it? Sports fish. Sports fish. Oh my god, they go nuts. Look at all the oyster rocks around here. There's got to be some brim sitting around here. Drifted way past where I cast that. Oh. 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 I, just, I think that's a huge flatty. Dude, I landed this on the other side of the um, rocks there. Yeah. And this huge flatty looking shape followed it. I'll send it back to him. Have it, mate. It's yours. What? What? Yep. Brim. What are you? I think it's a brim. Water's so clear. Yeah, we usually can <laughs> you could see the fish hit your plastic from 15 metres away. Oh no, it's another tailor. My god. Sports fish. Would have thought it was a bream around those oysters, but no. Nah. Please not have wrecked my plastic. I hope he just falls off like that. Let him do the work. Alright, I'll get you a bit closer to your flatty spot. We just pulled up on a big school of uh, tailor that were pushing bait up to the surface and we got stuck into them on the plastics. And we've already seen, I had a big flathead follow my lure out of a, out of a sand flat there but couldn't hook up and um, yeah, seen some big brim. Dave got another tailor here. Yeah, it's been, um, been pretty exciting. All pretty small fish so far, apart from that flatty that Brad saw, but you know. Can't complain, it's fish, so. All right, we'll, we'll get, get stuck into them. Oh, yep. Oh. 
I thought something was sitting on it and it was. Is it a stud? Might, might be a keeper. Not that we're gonna keep it, but. No, it's, no, it's not that good, don't worry. We've seen, we've had some pretty cool action since we've been chilling here. Stop it. Stop. 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 Stop it. Stop it. Just settle. So that's it. Not a monster, but unweighted white bait on the pink rod. No good. There we go. No, don't think so. Oh no, it's moving. Yeah, it's a fish, dude. Oh, dude. <laughs> Had it at any point? Thank you very much, sir. Oh no. Oh, no. He dropped it. No. Dropped him. This has got no bait on it. Oh, that was a solid fish. Yep, got him. Yeah, flatty. Tiny. Swallowed it though, a little, little tacker. Please spit it out so I don't have to deal with it. Getting around. That's for show. Taylor hanging out today. Whoa. That was actually like a really nice burger. Yeah, that was genuinely good. Yes, that's a flatty. Uh, another one. There you go. Little flatty, so just hopping that little mask right off the bottom and come up and eat it. Look at the fish there. What is it? Is that a whiting? It's a big whiting. See it? Yeah. Huge whiting. Couple big whiting. Get the popper on. And hammer those flats. 
actually, but there could be some big whiting on there. That's coming to make us very wet. <laughs> you excited, Dave? So keen. <laughs> it's all right. Fish don't mind being wet, so it will be right. All right, so because of the amount of tailor that it busted in up and that the tide's going down now, we are going to go find some sand flats and use little poppers such as this one. Brad's is a bit smaller than mine, so maybe better. Coming up to the low tide now, so we're going to jump off one of these sand flats and throw some poppers around and try and catch some whiting on some poppers. Cheers, bro. It's a little bit wet. So the whiting weren't quite on. Might have had something to do with all the rain. It's been down rain for the last half an hour, so we're gonna pack it in. Dave's just filling up the boat. Yeah, I think the plan is maybe a beach fish later tonight. So um, hopefully that's uh, we get a bit of fruit from our from our loom. <laughs> what the fuck? Where's that back? There's some fruit for your loom, bro. <laughs> Try and catch a fish. So it is what's the time? It's 8 39. We have some pilchards and a couple rods, and we're going to go down to our one tree beach and uh, fish right up adjacent to our. The river see if we can't catch some salmon or we're very very lucky maybe a jew fish so it's been, been a long time so hopefully uh we can find a gutter and put our baits in there and slaunch on some salmon i'm running on two double espressos dave's running on uh sour worm sugar high because we've had about two hours sleep in the in the last 30 hours something like that it's probably wrong, I don't know, I'm sleep deprived, so it could be anywhere between 30 and 60. Yeah, something about that. Something like that, so yeah. <clears throat> So the bait was probably in the water for about two minutes tops, I reckon, and it just buckled over and well, we thought we were on for a dewy or a shark or something because we had a pretty big bait on there and lo and behold, a big, big tailor took it. It's probably the biggest tailor I've ever seen. Look at that. It's not a bad fish. Not a bad start. So I thought I'd just enlighten you as to what just happened because I think it got a little bit hectic there for a second. My bait on the big saltiga was, was in the water for about two minutes and it just buckled over and we ran to get it. Turned out to be a massive tailor, and as soon as we got that in, Dave's rod buckled over as well, but unfortunately it spat the hook. Um, what is that? We've got some dude throwing fire down there. Sprinting at your full pelt screaming. I'd cry. That's I'd scary. Cry, I don't know how I feel about him being on our beach. Go sort him here. So we, we called it, we've packed it in. We think um, we had a bit of a, a bit of a good bite there <coughs> as soon as we got there. It was pretty hectic. Baits were going off and we think it might have been because uh, of the tide change was, yeah, we think it might have been because of the, the tide change was um, sort of 15 minutes before we got there. He stuck it out for another 40 or so minutes and, and uh, quite frankly, we were both pretty tired after 
Spent a couple of hours sleep last night and fishing all of today. So we're gonna go back and uh, have a snooze and uh, see what tomorrow brings. Yo, beauty.